this is what I'm here to tell you about, and it's the Blonde Ambition. The Blonde Ambition is our newest luxury shampoo to the line, to the Suds line. So this is along the same lines as your cashmere and your whipped cream and honey and your Nirvana. It is still got the color fix three in it. So a lot of your um, blue-based shampoos or violet-based shampoos are just a basic shampoo with food color dye in them to give them that tonal value. The difference, what is going to set this aside is that it's actually your luxury shampoo. It's got the Color Fix 3 complex in it, and it's not a food grade, a food grade pigment it, or dye. It's actually a pigment. So it's a skincare grade pigment in here. So it's along the same lines as your color. So people say you have a European color pigment or um, to, to add your tones to your colors. That is what is in this. So that's going to be the biggest factor that you're going to um, tell people. So they'll, if, are you, have you guys used color shampoos before? Oh, yeah. 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 You guys are often like that. Okay. So what happens essentially is they take a basic shampoo and they add food dye color. Gives it a blue tone or a violet tone and it's supposed to negate tones in the hair. Well, it does until you rinse it off. And then it goes right down the drain. So what Seth has done is we've used a pure pigment. So this will actually alter the hair even after being shampooed. You asked me a great question. It also is visual. So when it goes on the hair, it's gonna be a dark blue. And you know it's done processing, if you would, when it turns to a sky blue. So the shampoo actually lightens. When it's reached a sky blue, <coughs> then you rinse. Great question, how often should you use it? On regular hair, you can use two to three times, meaning regular, um, not over-processed. If their hair is over-processed or bleached or highlighted, I would use one to two times a week. I know the paper probably says two to three, but it is really <coughs> pigmented. So what it's done, doing is it's gonna negate your brassiness and your yellow tones. <coughs> so if they have blonde hair and it's processed blonde, it's chemically treated blonde, I would use one to two times a week. Anything else you can use two to three times a week. What is this good for? Obviously for your blondes to negate brassiness and yellow tones. For your natural blonde clients that have the silver or the white or the gray hair, I call them natural blonde because none of my clients have gray hair until they're 85. <laughs> it's natural blonde. It will help and, um, keep it shining and eliminate the, the yellow tones sometimes that can come with that with the white hair. Also, it gives amazing shine. If their hair is fine and the cuticle layer of that hair is smaller, it's going to grab because this is pure pigment. Mm. So you want to be very careful. At the shampoo bowl, stylist would put it on the back first, the ends, and work your way up because we know around the hairline that grabs quicker. It might show your bald spot. It won't stain your skin though. <laughs> Um, now, also, it's great for your redheads. You would love this. Really? Absolutely. For because redheads? what happens with red? When we go, when we think Oxidized. of our color wheel, you've got black, brown, red, orange. So what happens with red hair is you turn orange. into the... Right. And they go, oh, I look brassy, I look orangey. Excellent sale for your redheads. Oh. I sell color shampoo or toning shampoo to all of my redheads. And they can use it once to twice a week, in between alternating with, of course, their cashmere or their whipped cream, whichever one they use. Um, also, it works for if in between toning. So if you have someone that's going to be bleaching and toning, you would bleach, you would rinse your foils or your color, apply this, and then tone. This is going to even out the porosity, and it's also going to grab because we know color needs color to attach. And this is a, a rule of hairdressing 101. Color molecules need color molecules to attach to. So if you have um, stylists that are bleaching the hair and then toning, and then the toner fades out in a week or two, it's because they've already removed all of that pigment in the hair, and now they're putting a color over it, and there's nothing to attach it to. So if you use this in between, it's got pure pigment. So the new toning now will attach to that. So it's a great tool at the back bar as well. 
great tool at the back bar for your stylist.